here. Okay, so does it work? Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, let's say the matrix that I'm given is actually going to be 2, 3, negative 1, 2. That's a matrix. And I'm asked, calculate this matrix inverse. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the matrix inverse exactly how I have it written down here. 1 over A times D, this times this. So it's going to be 2 times 2 minus B times C. Actually, what I need to do, 2 times 2 minus B times C, 3 times negative 1. Okay, that's the first part. So I'm going to multiply by this matrix, and what I'm going to have is, if you look at the formula here, the little equation for you here, D and A are actually flipped from our original matrix, okay? But since it's the same number, it really doesn't much matter, so I'm going to put 2 here, and I'm going to put 2 down here, and then these two numbers here are negated. That's what that negative b and negative c is. You just put a negative sign there. So you have negative 3 and negative times this is just going to give you a positive 1. So you have a positive 1 down here. So we followed our little formula. 1 over a times d minus b times c, that's down here, okay, times the matrix with d and a flipped and with these two things negated. That's what we've done. Now let's go ahead and finish calculating that and see what we have. So that would mean that the matrix inverse is going to equal 1 over 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, but I have a negative out here, so it's going to be plus 3. So 4 plus 3, and then on the inside, it's the same old thing. I've got 2, negative 3, 1, and 2. Okay? Let's go ahead and continue on a little bit more. Inverse is going to equal, this is going to be 1 over 7 times... 2, negative 3, 1, 2. Now, what do you do when you have a number outside multiplied by a matrix? The very first section of this class, or one of the first sections of this class, talked about that. All you do is you take the outside. Since it's not a matrix, it's just a number out here, you multiply it by every term on the inside. Okay? So it's going to get look a little messy, and by the way, frequently you're going to end up with fractions doing this. Uh, almost all the time because you have a giant fraction out here. So you're going to have to kind of get used to dealing with the fractions, okay? So you have a fraction, but, you know, it's really not that bad because we're just going to carry that fraction through. So 1 7 times 2 is 2 7. 1 7 times negative 3 is negative 3 7. 1 7 times 1 is 1 7. 1 7 times 2 is 2 7. All right, so that's it. You have two sevenths, negative three sevenths, one seventh, and two sevenths, and that is actually called a matrix inverse. So on your test, if that's what you were asked to find, what's the inverse of matrix A, you would calculate it exactly like this, and you would, you would uh, circle your answer.